Hi, I'm Holly Furfer, and today the theme is Out with the Old, In with the New. I'm going to show you some great new tools that we have for you that are just going to make your life in the kitchen so much easier. Let's start with the whisk. We all know what a whisk is. Grandma uses this whisk. We all have them in our kitchens. They're great. If you're going to make a meringue for 12, perfect. But what if you want to make a sauce, a very delicate sauce, or maybe you're only cooking for two, like I do with my husband. This is a little difficult and cumbersome to get in there. So what we have here is a tiny individual whisk that is perfect if you wanted to make a delicate sauce, if you don't want to make that much, it's going to work in here just like the big whisk is, but it's not going to be as cumbersome and you're going to be able to make sure that everything is blended perfectly without too many bubbles. Now this whisk I absolutely love. This one is very pliable. It's got a lot of bounce and spring to it. This is perfect if you're like me and you might have a little bit of a heavy hand and you're making a meringue and if you over whisk it, you know how it goes. It gets stiff, it doesn't form peaks, it crumbles and falls and your meringue is a nightmare. This will help you make sure if you're a little too much pressure, it will give so you're not breaking the egg whites in your meringue, for instance. You can also mash potatoes with this. You can use this like a traditional whisk, however you want. It's sort of mid-sized too, so if you want something a little bit bigger than the new small one, this would be perfect for your kitchen. Okay, I want to talk about spatulas. Now, when I got married, my mom gave me everything I needed for the kitchen. Spatula. It's a little difficult, it's hard plastic, doesn't really work very well. When you're into a pan or a pot, it doesn't give, so it's hard to scrape what's on the bottom. Well, we have these brand new, beautiful spatulas that are still sturdy and thick. They're not going to break or tear, but they're so pliable and bendable, they're going to get into every corner and you're going to get out every bit of sauce or anything you need in the corner there. And they come in different shapes. Look at this one. Now this one, see how it's got a little bit of a boat and a curve there? This one's almost going to act like a spoon. And this one's going to do the same thing as the old spatula, but you're really going to be able to get in there and actually move bits of whether it's meringue or frosting or whatever it is that you're using the spatula for. And it's got a little bit of a shape, so it's going to help you out with different types and sizes of bowls. And finally, this little spatula, love it. My nieces and nephews come over all the time to make cupcakes, for instance. Perfect for frosting cupcakes. You know how the big one can get, you know, a little bit big and messy. This one is great and they can frost it with this and not worry about making a mess. Okay, your peeler, the knife. I'm not so good with knives, I'm just going to be honest. Some people still scrape with knives. If you have an old peeler, like me, you're worried that you're going to cut yourself. I've probably lost many a layer of skin peeling a, a cucumber or a potato. This new peeler is perfect. Great grip, very sturdy, it's not going to go anywhere so you can really dig in and get that skin off and not worry about it sliding off and you catching a piece of your finger. Also, these three lumps here, these little round edges help for pliability on the blade. So this way it'll move with the potato and you're not taking out big chunks and losing most of the goodness. Alright, these teaspoons. I love to bake, but after a while they're a mess and they're all over my drawers. And you know how baking has to be precise. And these tend to wear off. It says a tablespoon. Well, this one, I'm not really sure what it says. It could be a third, it could be a quarter, who knows? Well, if you want to have the perfect pastry, you're gonna want this. This is basically a measuring spoon of all sizes. If you look here, it's got the measurements, not only in teaspoons and tablespoons, but in milliliter. Great if you have a recipe that hasn't been converted. And this little edge slides up and down to give you the size that you need, and then it matches with what's in here on the end where you fill it up, it's perfect. Easy, one piece of equipment and you can't go wrong. And finally, my favorite, favorite kitchen item, the shrimp divainer. Let's be honest, you go to a cocktail party, you don't wanna see that vein in the shrimp. It doesn't look good. And besides, does anybody really even know what it is? No, we'd rather just not eat it. So you'll spend hours in the sink taking a fork and you end up destroying the shrimp. It falls apart, they're very delicate, and sometimes you don't get all the vein out. This is gonna help you a lot. You don't have to keep your hands under water. This has two prongs on the end, slides in the back of the shrimp, easily slides out that vein and you're done. The shrimp stays intact, it's beautiful, and you look great for your guests at your next party.